Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, welcome to YOLO Tabletop Games, very first ever YouTube video drop. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so, look, I'm not going to be doing anything too much different from what you already see from your favorite YouTubers out there. Uh, pretty well the same thing, albeit I am going to be steering clear of, um, you know, opening boxes on brand new product releases, I think, for the start. Uh, concentrating mostly on older sets, you know, sets that have been out at least three months or so. Um, and we'll go from there. But uh, I think part of this channel, I'm going to make it exciting for you guys by... Uh, giving away some free swag because of course it's a brand new YouTube channel um, you know I've got thousands of sales on eBay and TCG player but uh, you know uh, this is this is just starting up this is the very first video so we need to get people enticed uh, want to get people watching and what better way than to give away free swag and I don't know if that means it's gonna be you know from this particular box or if I'm gonna be pulling it out from you know my inventory of hundreds of thousands of different cards uh, but here's what I'm going to do. Every video, uh, not this one, but moving forward, the next video, I will <coughs> um, roll a dice, and uh, you know, a d20. And depending on where that dice rolls, that'll be the value of the card or booster pack or whatever it is that I'm going to give away for free swag. Um, that'll be the value. So if you roll a 1, you get a $1 card. If you roll a 10, you get a $10 card. If you roll a 20, you get a $20 card. Who's going to participate? Um, if you have liked the video, subscribed um, to the channel, and dropped a comment, I will enter you into the drawing, and I will use a random name generator uh, online. Um, you know, I'll do everything live so that you guys know I'm not screwing around and selecting, you know, people. Um, but that'll be completely fair. So as long as you have liked the video, subscribed, and dropped a comment, let's get on it. Um, I'm going to aim to do... I don't know. We'll see how it goes, I guess. We'll see how many people watch this first video and um, how many people are liking and commenting. But I'm thinking, you know, at least once a week to drop a video of a box opening. This is the first video. I figured The Brothers War is a very fun set to get started on uh, cracking because you've got the Transformer, you know, chase. You've got the uh, serialized card chase and you got the retro artifact chase. So, um, you know, there's a lot of fun to be had. Uh, to be entirely honest, I actually haven't done any openings of Brothers War, period. I didn't dive into the product when it first came out because I wanted to wait and see what happened with these serialized cards and whether they preserved their value and so forth. So long story short, and I wanted to see what the impact would be on the pricing of the collector booster packs. And it turns out I was right. It was a good idea to wait because uh, there was a glorious, glorious Amazon Day sale that I took advantage of. And uh, that is why we are here today. So um, I think I've got quite a few box videos I can do opening just the Brothers War alone, not to mention all the other amazing uh, product that there was. Uh, so that's a little secret. If, you, if you're not in a you know dire situation where you just have to have the bloody card, just sit back and wait. Ooh, Tyrant of Care Ridges, nice. Um, for our first extended art rare, if you're not in a rush, just just chill, man. Just wait, give it a couple months, and that pri the pricing on your product will come down. I promise you that. All right, so we got a Mishra Eminent one there. Nothing fancy. We did pull a nice little chromatic star retro foil, just their standard retro foil, and we've got a schematic art. Uh, spring leaf drum uncommon non foil and an unwinding clock very fun playable card untap all artifacts you control during each other players untap step uh, for a four colorless cost so lots of fun and awesome that is probably one of you know I'm not too familiar with this set but I am familiar with Megatron because uh, you know um, I did buy a lot of that secret lair and I was selling a lot from that secret lair, but this has to be one of the better pulls. It's, it's not shattered glass. So let's take a look here. Uh, Megatron is going to be coming in, in the foil here. What? I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I can't believe that's only a dollar. I would have thought it would have been higher, um, based on the pricing of where the secret lair is. And it's just a fun card to play with, but wow. Uh, only a dollar there. 
And then we got a Psychosis Crawler for a Retro Foil. Is that a rare or uncommon? It's hard to tell. You guys see that? That's a rare. In the camera, it's quite evident. But it has like a little blue to it. I don't know if you're catching that. Um, interesting. Let's just add that. Is it an uncommon or is it a rare? It's got both colors. I swear. It's like blue gold. Well, we're going to keep on going because I, I don't I don't know, um, generally speaking. Anyway, let's keep on going. So I hope everybody is, uh, you know, if you're back to school, hope you're having a good couple of weeks back. If you're not, keep your head high and just keep searching. You will find uh, your own little niche group and maybe, who knows, a bunch of other Magic fans. Uh, you'll find them. It just sometimes takes a little bit of time. I know that firsthand. But uh, I hope everybody's having a good start to the year. We got a nice little Mishra's Foundry fun card in foil from the standard uh, frame format. And then Mishra's Command Extended Art Rare. I'm going to separate the Tyrant of Care Ridges because I know that's got good value there. We've got a, a Terror Ballista as well as the Mishra Command. So a double Extended Art Rare there. A Bone Saw, a classic card. Uh, uncommon Retro Foil. We've got a Liquid Metal Coating, Schematic. Uncommon non foil and a chromatic lantern super fun card very playable used to have some value I think this one's been overprinted into the ground. I imagine there's probably a dollar or two there well, 50 cents or a dollar um, I don't 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 think there's too much there, but uh, We've got a R is it RC RC sharpshooter and that is the non foil Unfortunately as I just realized and I'm going to take a double ch check here but yeah, this guy's only 75 cents in the non-foil. I will separate the foil and the non-foil there. Then we've got an adaptive automaton. That's enough. There's a lot of fun cards. There's a lot of playable cards, a lot of uh, nostalgic cards in this set. Um, they just don't have much value. But anyways, there's an adaptive automaton uh, retro foil, just your standard retro foil. Um, let's keep on cracking. Gosh, these packs are, are just... Holy smokes. They don't want you getting at it. Unbelievable. I got to take this. I want to like pull it off camera here just so I can open the darn thing. Okay, what's your technique, guys, for opening these Brother War packs? I've opened, you know, a lot of these new sets. They have this very tough packaging, but I, that has to be the hardest. Gosh, that has to be the hardest unpack I've ever had. Are any of the newer, more recent sets that bad as well? We've got a Teresian Mindbreaker, Retro Foil, Standard Print, Liberator, the Urza's Battle Thopter. Oops. Um, we have a Sardian Avenger from the Commander set. And that's probably what I did here, isn't it? Did I put a... No, I didn't. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, <coughs> well, does that mean... Because this is the third pack, does that mean I missed a Commander card? Ornithopter, Retro Schematic Foil, Soul Guide Lantern, Retro, Defense Grid, that's another fun card, that's got to be a few bucks, no? Defense Grid, non-foil, in the Retro print, put that over there. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'll be honest with you, we'll just put the non-foils, foils, and then schematics in one pile. Another Megatron, this time in non-foil. I hope I pull an actual bloody uh, Shattered Glass Megatron. That would be incredible in foil. The Teething Wormlet. Extended Art Rare. Very cool art. And very nice foiling on it. And your good old Power Stone out the yingy yangy. By the way, guys, I forgot to give a little shout out to the Sardian Avenger and the uh, Liberator, Earth's Blueprint. Those are both decent cards. There's a couple bucks in each of those or a few bucks in each of those. So nice to have. Nothing too schnazzy, though. All right, we got Legions to Ashes. Ooh, a Surge Engine, Mythic Rare, Extended Art, Atanos. Solemn Survivor, Commander, 
or geez, uh, from the commander set. Another mythic pull, so a double mythic pack. Nice little swift foot boots there. Schematic foil. Very nice. <clears throat> um, ivory tower, classic card. Ooh, the altar of dementia. That's a nice pull right there. In this schematic too, it's a non-foil, but that is a beautiful card nonetheless. And a, it's a nice, nice hitter there. We got a gold bug, humanity's alley. And... Titania's Command in foil. Not bad. All right, we're going to keep on going here. No big hits yet. Really would like to see at least a Mox Amber here. I mean, if, if you're not pulling one of those, you're kind of getting screwed a little bit unless you get like one of the, you know, serialized cards or something too. There's just, you know, all these sets in Magic have just really been selling off, unfortunately. I don't know. The Magic's got to get their act together. I'm not too fearful, though. We've got the TV series coming out soon. That'll be a nice little boost for sure. I'd expect to see things, you know, we're in September now. I think things are already going to be ramping up. I'm making this video a little bit in advance of uh, September, so uh, start of August right now. So we'll see, but uh, I do believe we're going to hit a bottom here very, very, very soon, if not already, and uh, should start to see some exciting stuff happening. So we got a perennial behemoth there in a standard foil print, and we've got a Hajar, the lo or Hajar, the loyal bodyguard, extended art, blast furnace hell kite, fun card, very expensive though. We got an ivory tower retro foil, and a sigil of valor. In schematic format, a Quietus Spike, Rare, and a Blitzwing, the Cruel Tormentor. Um, he's also only about 80 cents. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Woo. How's that for a first video on YouTube? Pulled number 33, the Soul Guide Lantern. Oh, it's unfortunately got like two printer streaks down the middle and it looks like it has a little clip there at the top, a little, little mark there at the top, but that is a serialized hit, uh, schematic soul guide lantern. So that is very exciting because that will in fact, uh, pay for the box. Give me one moment. I need to grab a sleeve for this card here. All right, all right, I dropped my, uh, oh, just so excited I pulled this. I dropped my sleeves on the way. Um, so the Soul Guide Lantern, and I feel like the foiling looks a little nicer um, than on the other card. But this Soul Guide Lantern, you know, that's only going to be a BGS 9 because of the printer mark streak. Uh, it's also very off-centered. Um, you can see it's just got a, meh. oh, it's even got the printer dot there. From how off center or how off cut it is in the bottom corner there. Um, sometimes that can be a good thing in the sense that there are collectors out there who want uh, miscut cards. And as you can see, you know, if you're looking at that, look at the top compared to the bottom. The bottom is just massive. Uh, it's also skewed towards the left hand side of the card with the right hand side being wider. Um, and again, like I said, you've got can't see it on the back of the card but you can absolutely see it on the front here in the bottom corner there you can see the printer dot uh so miscut but uh number 33 soul guide lantern very fun card when soul guide lantern enters from the battlefield exile target card from graveyard and then you can tap it and sacrifice soul guard soul guide lantern to exile each opponent's graveyard very op for a one colorless and uh, you can also tap and pay one colorless to sacrifice Soul Guide Lantern or draw and draw a card. So there's a couple, you know, a few different ways this card can be played. I'm very excited to have that serialized. That's that's that is a win. So that card's going to be around 250 bucks as far as I've seen. Um, but the miscut could take it either way. If it goes up on auction, it could go higher. It could go lower. Uh, because, you know, there's collectors out there who don't want imperfections in their cards, and then there are a niche of collectors out there who do want the imperfections in their cards. So that's, uh, that's a unique one. It's a, it's a neat card anyways. 
All right, we've got a Simeon Simulacrum Retro, foil, or sorry, Standard Foil. We've got a Sky Strike Officer Extended Art. We've got the Archimandrite Legendary Creature Human Advisor. We got a Self Assembler Retro Foil. We have a Icor Wellspring Goblin Char Belcher. Blaster, the combat DJ. I think he's a nice, nicer pull of the uh, Transformers set. Let me take a look here quickly. Uh, I was so far off. He's the worst. <laughs> well, it just goes to show you how often I'm, I am. I, ooh, ooh, ooh. Worm Coil Engine Retro Foil. That is unbelievably unbelievable. That's awesome. If only that was uh, my uh, serialized card. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? I still, this is a big winning box. And that worm coil engine also deserves its own um, sleeve. So let me grab that here. Now, this worm coil engine in the non-schematic version is 20 bucks. Um, I think that's actually not a, not a reasonable price. This guy should be sitting around 40 to $60 in my opinion. Um, so that's one that, you know, I, I, we, a lot of these cards that you're watching right now, they do go up for sale on my TCG player shop. That's how I inventory things. By the way, check me out on TCG player, YOLO tabletop games. Um, you will see that I've got a perfect, perfect score in reviews. Um, I like to ensure that every single order that you are going to be happy. So I always, 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 um, overgrade the card, meaning that if it looks like, you know, TCG player standards has, um, I think it's, uh, what is it? One, you can have up to three minor imperfections on a card before it's dropped from near mint to lightly played. I drop it at two. So, um, the cards you're getting from me when I'm selling near mint are truly near mint and they're not going to, you know, they're not going to be lightly played. And that's why you'll see I've got hundreds, if not, well, thousands of orders and not a single complaint. So if you want somebody who's consistently reliable, going to give you the quality of a card you paid for, and you like the content that you see and you, you imagine that it'll uh, continue to be nice content, content in the future, uh, please help support my shop by going to TCG Player. I think I have to have a certain number of views before I can put a link in my profile so that you can support me that way. Um, but in any event, you know, I'm, ho I'm hoping to put out some good content for you guys that y'all enjoy watching. Um, that's informative, educational, uh, gets you up to date on pricing trends because, you know, if I'm doing them a little bit delayed three to nine months, 12 months out from their product release, prices change drastically from when sets first come out, uh, to even just two months later. So, um, you know, ho hopefully providing you guys with some good updates on pricing and I'm going to include pricing. If there's cards over a dollar, I'm going to include the pricing in the video here so that you can see that, um, as you're watching. So I might be inaccurate, uh, in what I'm saying verbally. So keep your eyes on the screen and you'll at least see the honest pricing there, uh, per the date of the release video. So we've got a stasis coffin here extended. We've got a wreck hunter, Sigil of Valor, schematic foil, uncommon, another swift foot boots, this time non-schematic and non-foil in the retro format. Nice little quicksilver amulet, am, little amulet there. Jetfire, the ingenious scientist, and we've got a inspiring sanctu statuary here, uh, retro foil. Five more packs left. That was an awesome halfway through the box pack too, hey? The, uh... Wasn't it the serialized card? I'm pretty sure that was pack number six. So um, very exciting, very nice time to find it. It also keeps things entertaining because you don't know if I'm gonna have another smoking pull here. We've got an Argoth, the Sanctum of Nature, standard print foil, Razor Lash, Transmorgan, extended art rare, Sandwell, the Avenger Ace, another Icor Wellspring, this time it's foil and schematic. I think the other one was schematic as well. A liquid metal coating. Ooh, a howling mine. Very nice. Very classic card. I just 
got a uh, copy of this that was beta another one that was collector's edition and another one that was unlimited edition so very fun little pull there very historic too Jetfire the ingenious scientist number two this time in foil and a Teresian mindbreaker foil extended art rare there so not bad guys very happy with these Let's keep on going. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a uh, shattered glass foil in addition to the serialized card. Wouldn't that be incredible? I don't know that that's ever happened, has it? I haven't been up to date on uh, my YouTube video watching, so I'm not sure. Pulled another Mythic here, this time a foil in the standard format frame. Platoon Dispenser. Ooh, a brush land. Dual land. Um, <coughs> we've got to keep on going here, but that's a very nice pull. This has been a very nice box here. Um, and there's a lot of great cards, don't get me wrong, dollar to five dollar cards uh, mixed in here, but I'm just trying to focus on the heavier hits there. Uh, Machine God's Effigy, very nice art, very cool artwork. I like that. Liquid Metal Coating, Schematic Foil, Jalum Tome, no, just so many awesome playable cards. Caged Sun, another just awesome. Caged Sun, ooh, Optimus Prime, the hero, Shattered Glass, non-foil Shattered Glass. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that have been incredible if it was a foil? Anyways, he still is like ten or eleven bucks. I mean, this is this is an epic box here, guys. Hall of Tar Tag Tagsin Tagsin, extended art rare foil. So very pleasing box. You really can't complain. Um, had a lot of nice pulls here in the ten to twenty dollar range, um, and then you know you just can't beat those serialized cards. That's just awesome. Nice little land war waste here. Uh, standard frame foil, autonomous assembler, Far Farid or Farid, the enterprising salvager, JLM Tome schematic foil. Lots of repeats, I've noticed. Pristine Talisman, Schematic, Scrap Trawler, Flame War, the Brash Veteran, and a Gilded Lotus Foil. Is that is that the Schematic Art variant? I don't think it is. No, it, it wouldn't be, would it? <clears throat> no, I don't think it is, but it looks kind of like drawn in the back. That's why I'm asking. But, geez, Louise, awesome pulls, awesome pulls. Gotta uncover that, of course. All right, let's get into this second last pack here. Sorry for taking a long time on the video. At the same time, you know, like I said, trying to get to know one another. Um, ooh, another Tyrant of Care Ridges. This time it's a foil standard form uh, frame. Got an Ashnod, the Flesh Mechanic Mechanist, Wire Surgeons. Another Swiftfoot Boots, third Swiftfoot Boots in one box, and this time it's a foil, just retro, uh, non-schematic art, self-assembler. Ashnod's Altar, awesome, awesome, and that is so cool, like, excuse me, I, I was just going through uh, my Legends uh, collection and the, the Ashnod's Altars in there, um, this art is incredible compared to that, I mean... The schematic art is super cool. I love it. I love it personally. Ooh, and a Blitzwing. The Cruel Tormentor in foil and a Rootwire Amalgam. Uh, Amalgam. Uh, Mythic Extended Art Rare. <laughs> Just, what a cool pack. What a cool box. Just the variety in the cards. The playability in the cards. Uh, the value in the cards for certain. I think this is going to be like a $400, $500 box. Once you add all the, you know, minis together and uh, everything else. Nice. A Planeswalker pull. So we got Loron of the Third Path there. Standard foil. And a Sahili, the Filigree Master. Uh, full art, mythic, rare, <coughs> in schematic as well. Uh, with a schematic background. That's super freaking cool, guys. I mean, how cool is that, this box? Wondrous Crucible. Soul Guide Lantern again. That's our third one again. So we got three Swift Foot Boots. We got three Liquid Metal, three Ivory Tower, uh, two Jalum's Tone, three Iker Wellspring. A lot of repeats. A lot of repeats, but uh, cool repeats nonetheless. So a Soul Lantern, 
Retrofoil, another <laughs> Jalum Tome, Astral Cornucopia, Cornucopia, that's right, a lot of you guys have been mispronouncing that, get it right, Cornucopia, and a Ratchet Field Medic, followed by the Staff of Titania, Titan Titania, Titania, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in foil from the Commander Edition. So that is a nice pull as well there. That Staff of Titania. I Let me check here. Staff of Titania is going to be in foil $4.65. Is that the number 50? Staff of Titania. Oh, th four bucks. So either or, nice pull. But there you have it, folks. So that's my first ever box opening video for YouTube. Be easy on me. Like I said, I'm an amateur. So I want to I want to hear your feedback, you know, positive and negative. I'm open to critical feedback. I'm, I'm always uh, not happy to hear it. But, um, you know, I want to improve my videos for you guys. Make sure that you're getting some really nice content in here. So I'm just going to do a little recap here of the retro foil pulls. Um, Adaptive Automaton was a nice one there. Psychosis Crawler, classic uh, Chromatic Star. Um, but yeah, not not bad. Inspiring Sanctuary, another rare there. And Swift Foot Boots with the yeah, so so decent pulls in the retro foil. And then we're getting into the schematics here. We've got Pristine Talisman has just come way down in value. Jalam Tome too. I mean, it's just every, these cards are so darn overprinted. Um, but in any event. Um, I think I think Magic is going to naturally calm down uh, its processes. It's going to get back in touch with reality. That you can't just print these cards to oblivion because you'll lose half of your collector base. Um, and I think we will eventually see a turnaround here. It's going to take a while. I think it's going to take a, a good while. Um, but I am pretty cautiously optimistic that things will improve. So we got a, I forgot the Cage Sun there, Scrap Trawler, uh, Liquid Metal Coating, Quicksilver Amulet, another decent one, another Swift Foot Boots, uh, Goblin Char Belcher there, Quietus Spike, Defense Grid, Unwinding Clock, and Chromatic Lantern. So just super fun cards here um, in the retro variant. And then we've also got... The schematics there that I think we've already, uh, I'll notice when I rewatch the video, when I'm editing the video, but yeah, we've already gone through those. So there's that for the schematics. And last but not least, let's get into the extended arts, the full, the extended arts, um, and then the big hitters. So I hope you guys want this little recap at the end in case uh, maybe you don't want to watch the whole video and you just want to see where the gold is. And that's the point of doing this. Uh, let me know. If that is the case, I can adjust the videos accordingly. Jeez, these cards are a little bit in rough shape, though. There is a little bit of just nicks and imperfections to them. I don't know if that's how the whole set is. You guys would know much more about that than I do, uh, if you've, especially if you've opened these before. But uh, there's definitely a little bit of like wear to these cards. So there you are, one mythic, bunch of rares, or was it two mythics? One mythic from the commander, and then the staff of Titania. Oh, two mythic, I missed the Mishra there. Let's get Mishra up. Okay, that's that, and last but not least, the recap of the gold here, we've got Sahili, Filigree Master, Ashnid's Altar, Optimus Prime Hero, Howling Mine, Tyrant of Care, Ridges, Stan Ridges Standard Foil, Brushland, Non-Foil, Gilded Lotus, Retro Foil, I don't know if it's schematic or not, I don't know, I just don't know, I don't think it is because it's a low number, so it's not, it's it's uh, non-schematic, another Tyrant of Care, Ridges, the good old Altar of Dementia, the Foil Retro Worm Coil Engine, and the Soul Guide Lantern serialized card. So epic, epic awesomeness. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back with some more.